Joining Coach cool. Stephen Bowsey post game, his 100th victory. Congratulations, Coach. So that slipped out, huh? <laughs> you guys, you're, what can you say about what about your defense tonight? Daddy, I mean, they, they finally kind of showed up? that they can play with the best of everybody. Well, I mean, we've been good all year except for one night in Walden. So, I mean, it was kind of funny all week with people saying, I, you know, 35, 34, and all that stuff. I, I thought it would be a game just like it was last year. Um, I was a little disappointed, obviously, that we gave up that you know 80 or 70 or 80 yard drive to start the game. But we just, you know, again, when you when when you play a team of this caliber, you know they're going to make some plays, and, and they have great players, and uh, and you know our kids just they never quit, you know, and that's the great thing about our team. We get contributions from a lot of guys, and 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 they wait their turn to play here. You know, it's not instant gratification, and and, and they and they did awesome, so. Um, you know, I, I thought all the guys made plays, and, and uh, this is a, you know a huge win for us. How big is the momentum shift at the end of the half? You go for a touchdown, and then you stop them from scoring right at the end of the half. There, that kind of gave you sends you to the half with the lead. And yeah, well, I mean, you know, I, I, I thought you know I was trying to get a score, and we, we you know we blew cover. I mean, they you know was a Flaherty out jump Baker. I mean, you're talking about two of the best athletes in the North Shore. Um, you know, we knew that we knew where the ball was going. So did AJ. He just like always, he just he he's going after the ball instead of being smart and playing. Coach, you anticipate not being able to get outside. I mean, both teams had trouble getting outside because of the speed. Well, of, they, they of made the a real backers. effort to take our screen game away. You know, with the, with the tight coverage, and we thought we had some shots down the field. But again, I thought for us to win the game, we were going to have to run the ball, even if we didn't score on the drives, shorten the game, and, and make their defense take the pounding that our defense usually has to take against them. And I thought that if you, I don't know what, if anybody does time of possession, but I thought I thought we did a good job eating up some clock ourselves and making them work hard. So, um, you know, it's a big win for this program, but, it, you know, we, we still have two huge games left. And, um, you know, uh, nothing can be determined for us until Thanksgiving unless, you know, you know unless Marblehead loses both games. And, I, you know, I, I, doubt, I don't know if that's going to happen, but, you know, so actually nothing's going to be determined. So we have to win out. Just talk about the uh, double pass. Is that uh, something you've had in the offense, or is that uh, one of those well, bag yeah, of trick plays that you've um, for Well, yeah, we, like we've run that. We actually tried to run that here last year, and uh, we, we completed it, and Walsh, missed um missed the cut. Um, this year, instead of Mo we ran the same play, actually, against um, against Malden, but out of a different formation. So we went quads this time, and uh, those two guys, actually, Mike almost dropped it on the pass coming back, but... Um, you know, we had a wall of blockers. They totally bid on it. Uh, obviously, a huge play. Uh, Nick Menino kicking off all, all the extra points today. Um, those are clutch points, obviously, when they missed one and they missed the field goal. So, um, you know, we just, we, you know, I knew it, it comes down to, you know, who run the ball and make explosive plays. And I thought, you know, we made enough explosive plays to win. And I think, you know, our defense is great. So, thanks, Coach.